everybody, it's Eve from Silver Hero Gaming, back with another episode of Farmer's Market, back here in the Witchery House, and I did a little bit more research, and I, really, I I had a bunch of these higher-end books, but I didn't have a lot of the basic books, like the Herbologist, so I made these other books, the, uh, what is this one, Brews and Infusions, Distilling, Collecting Fumes, and the Circle Magic, and... There's a couple things I want to make. I want to make the distillery, and I want to make a altar, which I think is why this isn't working, because I think it needs altar power to make it work. So we're going to look into how to make an altar block, which, there it is. So it's stone brick, rowan saplings, breath of goddess, and water bottle. And I think I need six of these, so I need two of everything. So let's see. I think I made some stone bricks before I did. So, we'll put them here, and then I need Rowan. I needed two water bottles. Oh, I can get those in a second. Uh, was it Breath of the Goddess? What was it again? Breath of the Goddess and Exhale to the Horned One. So, one, two, and one, two. And I think I have some just bottles in here. Maybe they're in here. Bottles, here we go. So, let's go fill these up. My infinite water cells. There we go. I guess I'm going to do one of these because I don't think water bottles stack. So there's three altars. Three altar blocks. Okay. So I'm thinking I'll move my altar, I don't know, out here because I figure, worst case scenario, I can make another platform because I think the circle magic is going to take up a lot of space. So let's, um, let's clear this out. Three, one, two. There we go, a multi-box structure. I have an altar. And if I right-click on it... Okay, so it's going to have on it just au naturel, I guess, 1,700 power. But I know some of the higher-end stuff, it'll need more power. Now, there are things I can add to it, like a chalice. And a sh let's see, what is that? Candelabra, which is to a tombstone. Whiff of magic, that, and then what's the chalice? So, okay, well, let's make, I brought some diamonds over, but I did not bring lava buckets. Man, oh, man. So, I guess, boy, I really wish I had my, um, <laughs> the thing I made in my last series, the ender tank, so I could just get uh, the lava whenever I want. Although, you hear that bubbling? I, although, I think it's this. It has very similar sound to what, um, to what lava sounds like. <laughs> so let's see. Do I have any extra? Oh, actually, let's look at the distillery. I think I might be able to make that. No, I still need a tombstone for that. Wow. Okay. All time, all kinds of attune stones I need <laughs> for this higher end stuff. I also think that I read somewhere that vanilla trees and flowers and stuff help power this even more. See, it only says times one. So I think I need the stuff on top of it for multipliers. So let's gather some lava buckets, and then, um, actually, I can probably just bring my portable tank if it's full up. Otherwise, I'll fill it up and then take it with us. It is full, so where's my wrench? Wrench, and, boop. Oh, man. Grab my bucket, and we'll take this portable tank with us, because that'll be good for eight buckets of lava. However many it is I need in total. Uh, and let's see, let's grab, well, let's start grabbing some vanilla flowers, because I think that's one of the things that did it. And I'm guessing, though I'm not entirely sure, that variety increases that multiplier, but we'll find out. Oh, here's my other dogs, I think I showed you, it's Lady and Garrus. <laughs> A lot of dandelions out here. Oh, there's one thing I've always wanted to try. Um, I think I saw somebody do this once. I think you can do this. I didn't know you could do this. So if I, woof, <laughs> isn't that cool? Woof, I can blow the dandelion post. Yay. <laughs> Anyways, that's cute. I think it's neat. Oh, good. There's another one over here so I can use it. So we'll see if spreading some of these flowers around the altar will increase the multiplier. Otherwise, we're going to work on making that candelabra and that chalice. Okay. Zoop. We'll just 
pop right on over here. And you see the Spanish moss is spreading like crazy on the house, which is cool. I eventually kind of want it to grow all around. I don't have any on this side. I think I have some on the back side. I just planted some on the back side. But this side's basically just about covered in the front. Oh, you saw some spread there in the front. Yep. Okay. So, <clears throat> attuned stones. Let's make a couple. I think I brought some diamonds. I did bring some diamonds, I thought. Hmm. What did I do with the diamond? Oh, there they are. So, attuned stones. It is whiff of magic. So, I need four whiffs of magic. I have four whiffs of magic. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Just the bucket of lava. Okay. So, um, let's put the portable tank down. Boop. And one bucket of lava. So, bucket of lava, diamonds, and a whiff of magic. Toonstone number one. A bit more. Toonstone number two. Yeah, this is going to work nicely. Boom. And I have four toonstones. Okay, cool. Uh, where did my wrench go? There's my wrench. Pick you up. I'll fill you up later. Okay, so... The candelabra was a tombstone and four torches. Uh, three torches, I should say. Where am I? I thought I had some torches. Torches, torches, torches. If I was torches, where would I be? I can't believe I don't have any of my... Oh, here we go. Oh, I bet those aren't going to work because they're Tinker's Construct torches. They'll probably want vanilla torches. Okay, so I can do that. Boom. Let's just grab some charcoal out of here. Let me get it off. Put this back. Okay, so it was a tombstone in the middle. It was the. Okay, I just made them. And the iron, which I probably have in here, yep. like this, right? Yes! Okay, candelabra, done. And the other thing was a chalice. Let's see. And then there's a filled chalice? What's the difference? Redstone soup. Okay, well, let's make the chalice first. And that's gold nuggets. I think I brought some gold with me. I did. So, oop, no, I definitely don't need... Whoop! I'm making a mess. Nuggets. Okay, so let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. And another tombstone. Okay, let's see if these objects increase the modifiers on my altar. So we'll pop that down there, pop that down there. Cool. And yes, see, now it's times three. So now the total power it can hold is 3,474. Now, uh, let's grab some of these vanilla flowers I got. Let's see if these make a difference. Got all these, all these dandelions coming out my wazoo. Thirty-five fifty-four. I think that changed it. Let's see, thirty-five fifty-four. No, I think I don't think it was that big. Anyways, we'll go with this for now. We can fill that chalice later on. So, okay. I also needed the attune stone to make the distillery, as I recall. Well, for now, we'll just throw these out here. So, boom, 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 boom. Okay, the distillery. Distillery, yes. Just empty clay jars. Okay. Okay, let's see here. So, one of these. One of tombstone, empty clay jars. And there's the iron. Okay, I have a distillery now. And I don't know if this needs to get heated or not. It mu See, there's no power source. So I must need to have this under a fire as well. That would be my guess. So maybe I'll, I'll expand this pit out this way. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, let's see, did I just have... Oh, pfft, didn't want to do that. Come here, you. Uh, cobblestone... And did I bring more nether rack with me? No, but I can get some more. Let's just, let's just grow this out and see what happens. So. Okay. Oh, should know that 
better than that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. All right, let's just fly back and get the nether rack. <laughs> While I'm at it, grab a couple just so I have them there in case I need other fire sources. Boy, that that cursed earth is spreading like well, like cursed earth, I guess. <laughs> Underneath uh, that shady spot. So let's just take some of this with us and jump back. Because there's all kinds of cool infusions. I can infuse myself. I can infuse items with things. But I'm going to need to basically do um, this distillery. And I'm going to need to use multiple multiple different items to make all these things work. So, let's see here. Let's do this and this. And I'll put that on. Get the where'd it go? There it is. And then if I light this, is that gonna make it happy? Hmm. Maybe it doesn't need a heat source. Maybe I just need to put the things in there and then it distills it down. All right, let's well, let's leave this going. I went through the trouble of getting it. Oh no. Put that there. I'll pick this up. be able to expand that later if it needs it. Alright, where would my path go? There we go. There we go. Make it complete again. Okay, so let's drop this just this down over here. Right there. That'll work. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got the distillery now. And we've got the altar. I think a wither skull can go on here. Look at that. It's fully powered now. It's super cool. And I'm going to look, because I think there's other ways to get it to have higher power. But right now, 3,000 is probably plenty. And that will lead me to circle magic, um, where I can basically draw these different... Go back to the beginning. Here we go. Chalk sizes 7x7, 7 11x11, 7, 11 11, and 15x15. 15 15. So I'm going to need a fairly large space. Ritual, Otherware, and Infernal. So I guess I've got different colored chalks to make. Um, drop the foci item in the center and activate the heart heart glyph. So I'm going to need a heart glyph. I wonder what a heart glyph is. Demon heart. Let's look up heart glyph. And then I can start on making chalk. Heart glyph. No, that's heart glass. Let's try glyph on its own. Let's see what happens. Google eyes. I don't know what a heart glyph is. I'm going to have to figure that one out. <coughs> that will tree. Alright, so we'll come back to this. So, let's see. Alright, we made a lot here. I've got my extra tombstone as well. Let's put all this back. This, 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 this. Unorganized mess. <laughs> well, let's put the, uh, let's put the dandelion poof down see if that makes a difference. Boop. 3578. I don't know. Three times. I'm, I'm going to see what else I can put on this altar to give it more power because I'm thinking, honestly, that maybe. Oh, I should have put it closer. Well, maybe I'll move the kettle. Maybe I'll move the kettle over there. That makes sense, doesn't it? Can I empty this stuff out of here so I don't lose it? I sure can. Okay. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Can I make one more bucket, and I can move the whole thing? Cause that's kind of cool. I didn't, I didn't know that. No, let's see. We'll we'll tear this down, and we'll move this. We'll move the whole procedure over here, and see if uh, we'll put it right over here. Yeah, or here. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. You know what? We'll build out. We're gonna. I'm gonna have to build out here eventually. It's just the nature of the beast, I think. Okay. So where's that one piece of nether rock? Uh. 
let's put the kettle back on. Oh, ah, darn it. Ah, put that down. Dig this up and light this. Okay. And then we'll put our... Oh, man, my mouse, my mouse, my mouse. Put that back in there. <laughs> oh, it's definitely bubbling. And it's like sparking this time. I wonder if this means it's going to finish it. Or maybe I have to fill it up even more. Alright. We can move that infinite water source. I have two buckets. Boom. 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 Okay. So we'll make another hole. Where's my... There it is. Let's uh, see what we can do about Miles. Alright, we'll go with this for now. Oh, no, no. I guess I can't move this. What happens if I dump it? I can't dump it. Oh well. Let's let's destroy this. I assume it's gonna get rid of it, yeah. That's what I should have done to begin with. Man, oh man. If I either I guess I needed to have all of it or or none of it. <clears throat> let's let's make this right. Let's relight this. What did I get? Yellow... Oh, that must have been that thing I picked up. I think it just works as yellow dye. Where's my flint and steel? It's right in front of your face somewhere. There it is. Oi! Put that here. Put that there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. And I'll work on making another Utundus Extremis and see if having it by the altar will work. I'm wondering if that's what it needs. If it needed some altar power in order for this to work. So, continuing to experiment with witchery and see how much further we can go with it. And continue. Wow, that Spanish moss is growing fast. I think I can put it on the trees, too. It'd be kind of cool to have it grow everywhere. I wonder if I can put it on grass blocks as well. And I could just have Spanish moss dangling just everywhere. It would be pretty cool if that was possible. So, thanks for watching, guys. In the dark of night, I say goodbye to you. And the warlock will continue his witchcraft later. So stay tuned for more, guys. Bye!